Good evening everyone, this is Frederick Jr. and tonight we're going to play a little follow-up on Perjude. So in the last episode I found Tobley, um, Tobley, right? Yeah, Tobley. Found Lapu, right? And a couple other things that she sells. Um, but it, she did say that she buys some things. And I believe it was in the Wikia. So let me uh, switch over to that real quick. Oh. So, in the Wikia, let's just go back over here. NPC, go down to, oh, wrong Wikia. Um, there we go, sorry. All right, so in the Wikia, it says that He buys it for the highest prices, right? So for the stone here, this is the price of them. Um, and, and I said schist last time. I was wrong. It, this is actually appetite, okay? Um, so appetite is um, like the highest selling stone, basically. And I believe that these are, yeah, so these are uh, the prices as they're sold to Chamal, Shamal, Chamal, whatever, however you say that. Um, anyway, so I kind of want to see what Tobley sells them for, or buys them for, or whatever. All right, so we're going to go ahead and can we do that? No. Really? Okay. The other day it was stuck on one, now it's stuck on two. All right, anyway. So she buys them for 23 kip. Okay, so she does not buy them for the best prices. A um, little better than half. Uh, no, no, thank you. All right, well that's that's no good. Hmm. All right, well that settles that then. At least she's not interested in in. Um, um, what is this? Nice. Appetite. Sorry. Nice is the next one now. Anyway, so yeah. That is. Oh, you didn't even see any of that. Okay. Whoops. I did the wrong one. Is there a meant to do that one? What are we doing, Fezzik? I saw my big old crazy Fez head talking for a little while. Okay, so here, here it is. Talk to her. She sells it for 23, or buys it for 23 kip. And if uh, Shamal or whatever uh, buys them at 39 kip, well, you're losing a lot of money that way. And this is actually a really, um, really bouncy raft here. It does move. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, so it. Wow. Some weird interface stuff going on there. All right, so <clears throat> as I was saying, if she's not buying it for a really, you know, the premium price, then I'm not going to bother selling it to her. And I'll just let you know that cutting that stuff down is a lot like cutting, um, what is it, granite or something. I mean, it's granite and, and limestone both. I mean, they're, you got to chop at them for a while. So, you know, if you're going to go through all that to, to harvest them, and then you're going to chop them, well, um, you're going to turn around and sell them, excuse me, um, don't sell that to her at least. Because she's not, not giving you a premium price. Alright, well, I guess that's that. Um, I'm going to pause the video for now, and I'm going to start heading back to uh, to the house the base. We'll see y'all soon. Oh man, I should have had the uh, recording going at that time. I didn't even think about it until afterwards. So I just uh, went past the uh, zone, I think it's the east zone, where uh, Adventure Island is. I kind of saw it off in the distance, the big old gramophone and everything. And I'm heading straight over towards my base. 
and uh, I got an error message when I tried to go through this cell here, um, you know, the boundary line or whatever, that uh, teleport failed. Server is no longer available. And uh, it seems like it's not doing anything. So maybe I can uh, check here. Teleport failed because this game has ended. Oh, that's a shame. Well, let's um, let's exit out. Okay, and we're gonna go back in. All right. All right, let's try that. Well, oh, two players are online, so that's the same number it was when I popped in for at first. Hopefully this works or whatever. I wonder where I'm at exactly. Back, we'll think. All right, I think I am now in the east east zone. I believe I'm heading. I think that's uh, where where my base and stuff. Tell hey, what, I love the wind when it's at my back, but when it's not, man, it makes it rough. I think I've been through two day cycles almost. Well, when the sun comes up, it'll be the second day, the moon. So day and a half. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'll pause it for now. We'll be back whenever we get back over to land. Alright guys, so, made it back. And I apologize if the music kind of fades in and out. It could be, the volume seems to be relative. So, hopefully, not too bad I guess <laughs> anyway um, so let's go ahead and drop some of this stuff off here off here and I believe that that is let's, um, that is It's just anyway. Um, all right, so we're done in there, and I'm not unregistering anything. What I do want to do is just kind of go through a couple little um, build tips. First thing I'm going to do my hammer. Oh, I can't. That one. And building in uh, Project is a little bit different than what it was in Umber Tycoon. Um, the one thing I really like, I don't know if I can now. I want to be careful not to come around because uh, I don't want to like hammer the wrong thing. <laughs> you do and I'm just going to kind of build it out here just to kind of open and I usually start off when I'm in, uh, on like here I am out in the open right so I'll start off with foundation block okay? there's foundation okay start off with foundation right of course to choose it or whatever 
and then figure out where you're going to build. Right now, you'll notice that it's got these um, fixed dots, kind of like uh, what you may see in studio. So this one here is actually flexible. It'll make it down into the ground. So that's useful for, and I didn't really do it very well over here. I didn't realize that's what it was doing. Okay, but I did do the server on on those ones. Um, so what it's used for? So if you don't drop it down, right, all the way out here. I guess that it's gonna. You'll see, of course, gap underneath. But if you grab that one right there, um, and uh, check it out, make sure all flush. I can probably go up one more. There, they got a gap, right? Now there's no gap. Left to finish. Now, um, where where you start the blueprint is important, especially when you're working in like some tighter areas and stuff. Like when I was working on uh, some of this layout here, okay. Where you start the blueprint is. Go grab some stones. Can't see. All right, so uh, not there. Where I have everything, probably going to have to. Let's just grab these. Grab these. Back to them. Obviously. Alright, this is fine. Alright, so. so. Most folks will here. They'll put the. Add the blueprint. You can do that for sure. But I've also seen something where you drop it. That code should be with that or something. Sure, did, but he somehow like pointed the blueprint to the and that's pretty cool but over here in rapid succession you double tap the on your keyboard takes everything that it can to build that to populate it we'll do that again uh, I'll need some more I want some sort of
is not like I have plenty of them. Plenty, for example. Okay, right, so okay. Awesome about. Okay. Alright, so then over there, right here. And we'll do a couple more of these. So the amount of materials that a blueprint will take is proportionate to the size of the blueprint. Right? So if I do just this little guy right here. One stone, right? Don't have any that are like half or anything like that. But if I hope if I make a big one, right? Why as we can raise it out. Yep, I think good. Okay, finish. Now this one is actually gonna I think it will take all 15. Instead of doing that 15 times, right? Double FE. Done. Right. So, um, tomorrow, or the next video, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or not. Uh, the next video that I do, um, I face a little bit, I think. Finish it up a little bit, make it, you know, <laughs> have four actual walls, maybe some great, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, and uh, I'm thinking about, I really don't want to do this, but I'm thinking about like kind of twist everything down and it. Um, we'll leave storage area here alone. But I may kind of expand it or, or move my border lines around some or something like that. Just because, like like this right here, this was a lot of hassle to build. Um, but the rest of this was just kind of thrown up there. Right? Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to start doing. Working on the, uh, the builds in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... But yeah, right. Ninety. I'm 
at the bottom. That's right. That will give us um, nine weeks or something. I don't know how long that's that comes out to. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode of Virju. Um, and I check out some of the economy with old what rates. Show a couple build tips. Kids have a great time. Bye.